And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some spooky Shivana. Going to be our next Shivana deck on Shivana Spotlight Night. This is going to be a Shivana deck with Spectral Matron and Cythria Lady of Clouds at the top end. We've played this combination before. And this combination is incredibly powerful. It is so good if you can get uh, this going. And that's why I, whenever I played this, I felt like you got to play three of each because you really, really want to have this on round eight every single game. But I haven't been impressed with the the kind of builds that people usually play with this deck. People usually play like the Dark Water Scourge and Mask Mother combo and try to get that all going. And that's always felt like really janky and unreliable to me. Well, it has some high upside. Um, I haven't really liked it. And so instead of doing that, we're just gonna be playing solid cards that should help um, delay the game. We're gonna have, you know, Fleet Feather Tracker, Laurent Protege, some good some good uh, challengers to help control the board a little bit. Also some good blockers with Egghead Researcher and Fading Icon that can produce some value. And then we got all sorts of good two mana spells, Stalking Shadows to help us find our combo or earlier blockers. Um, you know, Sharp Sight, of course, single combat, get some removal in here, Glimpse Beyond, some more card advantage. So all that kind of stuff. Also got uh, two Mage Seeker Conservator, kind of a spicy one here, a good a good blocker just on round one. And then last breath, create in hand a random six plus cost spell. Could be, has huge, huge upside, right? Like the random six plus cost spells, they can be cards that you can't really play, like Ascendance Rise, you know, that, that uh, you won't really even be able to cast. You're like, well, this doesn't help. But they could also be cards that can completely flip the game like maybe you get like a ruination or a vengeance or you know, like some kind of really really awesome removal spell um or maybe even like a progress day that gets you back in it or um with this deck with playing a lot of dragons you know from egghead researcher and shivan and stuff you can even cast like a really souls champion spell um that the uh skies descent that if you hit that one you could even cast that but anyway we're gonna have a couple of those in here a couple of Radiant Guardians that can, you know, that will be our Lifesteal um, blocker. Um, also, Withering Whales, right? Because um, Aurelia Zero is really good. Thresh Nasus, Withering Whales, great against those kind of decks. Help us stay alive, just because that's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to, like, stay alive in the mid game, control the board, and then late game, boom, combo, Matron, Cythria. All right, so let's see how we do. Let's see how this deck does with just, like, some higher quality of cards around it. Um, no Mobilize or anything like that. Like, I'm not playing. Um, yeah, like Mobilize, that people will play that, or Oblivious Islander, you know, just like some pretty poor cards to try to make this better, but instead we're going to try to just play like a good solid deck that will get us to the late game and allow these cards to shine. So, uh, here we go, Spooky Shavana. Ooh, playing some Overwhelm. Overwhelm can always be tough. I mean, these dragons are good, but... I don't think we can wait till round five before we play a dragon, but like all three of these cards are like good good cards. Are we gonna find earlier stuff? I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna try keeping these two, hopefully find earlier stuff. Cool. Got some earlier stuff. Got a good dragon hand. Oh, what a shame for me. I'll follow where I can. Well, I guess I'll follow where I can. If it's made of sand, I can ride. And we keep falling into their trap. What are we doing? No Renekton. No, no Renekton. No Sivir. Something else. Play another Rockhopper. That's well, too bad. You must have some unique insight into dragons. Most are cruel, vicious, and deadly. No retreat. Alright, really hoping Screeching Dragon can take down Renekton. I am watching you, dragon. 
And just by playing the one that Egghead Researcher creates just kind of tells them, okay, well, that, that's a card from Egghead Researcher, so now they have less information about the rest of my hand. Shape what you want without mercy. Break them. What a specimen. Troll Chant would be a big problem if they had that. Pretty big problem. They didn't do it. They didn't go like the round of like save one thing and kill the other type thing. So it, you know I can just let this happen. Um, do not test my patience. But the Renekton is about to level up. So Renekton's about to level up. So in two turns, I'm going to want to Spectral Matron in a Cythria. So we probably need to, like, cast a Stalking Shadows, like, this round, and maybe cast one next round. You know, like, maybe cast one now to find one combo piece, and then cast one again to find the other. Which means I'm probably not playing Screeching Dragon this round. Who does not know the name Laurent? Nice! Nego type says that they are 6-1 with the Shivana Sivir deck that we played earlier. That is great. Good job. Keep up the good work. And they are slow. All right, there we go. So both of our champions will level up. Not a great plan, but my plan is to have Strafing Strike help kill Renekton, and then maybe double Stalking Shadows and find the two parts of the combo. Can definitely get ran over here from like if they get to break that up and keep this Renekton alive, or if they have another Renekton, anything like that. So I'm going to start with Stalking Shadows, because then if, if we don't hit either part of the combo, then we know that we're not going to have it, and maybe then I just play the Researcher also. Okay, we got one, one half. Arda's going to make a meal of them! So even if I play Egghead Researcher, I can't I can't block these things anyway, so might as well just play that or I guess just I guess we we'll just wait and draw a card first. Cause that card could be Spectral Matron. Where I go, yeah, that's the that was the thing I was really scared of. They had another one of those. No! Oh, couldn't find it. Oh, that's too bad. Because, yeah, this would have been just a perfect turn. Get it in play. And me. So, I mean, that thing's doing 7 damage to my Nexus. So this is just game. Well, both we missed and they had exactly what they needed, so... Again, this is another deck that if they have if they have the round one landmark and can uh, 
do some cool stuff with that, it's gonna be trouble for us. We're gonna keep Spectral Matron, because as y'all know, this is the most important thing that we can do is have Spectral Matron into Cythria, so we'll get at least half of the combo already. I, as y'all know, I basically always lose to this deck, but they always have the round one landmark, and so no landmark. That is awesome. I'm not used. To, I'm not used to no landmark. I'm not used to that at all. Okay, so they have to have Lissandra. If I, I guess I'm just. That means I'm just attacking for three. If options are, you know, do that or play Protege. Yeah, the Mage Seeker one drops a really, really good blocker to help us, you know, just to, to do its thing, just to block it. And then it also, um, it makes, like, the the six plus cost spells are really good to have. So I, I like that card quite a bit. Okay, we just got to kind of stay alive for the next four rounds. Which deck do you like, Bashful Panda? My deck or my opponent's deck? They found all their landmarks. I think both decks are pretty good. All these landmarks are really difficult to stomp. I have a very, very low win rate against this deck. Dragon Blood, Demacian Heart. Can't do much about that. Shivana Matron? Cool. That's the one you love? Yeah. I <laughs> can't wait until they find a way to nerf this deck and let Trundle Asandra go unchanged. <laughs> Gosh, that would be... That would be silly. Oh wow, that's good. That that's good because I I mean because I was kind of hoping for like something to die this round and then I get to Radiant Guardian. Um, but I am going to. Yeah, I play this. I think whether or not I play that, but I think I do. Lissandra having tough. So hard to kill. And maybe this should just be Shivana attacking and not throwing away a protege for two damage. I guess that's that's probably the right thing to do is just have Shivana attack. I fight for the fallen. Yeah, that definitely was the right thing to do is just have Shivana attack. Well, so the, the bad news is this happens three times. The good news is they don't have room for it to happen three times. Oh my gosh, is this one going to happen first? And then... No, I guess they all kind of happen at the same time, don't they? Actually, that's that's bad for me. These aren't going to get deleted together. Those are going to go like that. I guess that's pretty bad for me. one. Alright, go to zero. Exact zero. I guess I do have the mana to play both of these. So we technically can stay alive. But I guess I should do that and not just give up. That was a good Blighter Ravine. That was a really good bladder ravine. Okay. This will not stand. 
So it just adds, it adds one time. So it, it goes from uh, one to two or two to three. Yeah, why does Lissandra even need Watcher? That, that's a good question. It doesn't, is the answer. The Watcher does not need to exist. Um. Pass. Yes. And we still lost last time they didn't have the round one landmark. So I'm not saying that <clears throat> we're going to win it this time. Wow, no Lissandra. This is also a pretty cool combo here, a Spectral Matron with Kadrigrin. That's also, like, really cool. Um, you know, you get this. Kadrigrin's also a summon ability. So you can grant all your dragons everywhere, plus two, plus two. It's like if we don't find Cythrio, we can do that at least. Yeah. Ugh. The only card to punish me for not attacking immediately. Alright, so I guess I shouldn't have played the Shivana. I did have that Shivana die to... No, I mean I should have. I mean, I did have it die to Avalanche, but... Uh, yeah, we drew another Shivana, so it's all good. So of course this Lissandra turns back into a 2-2, so it doesn't it doesn't have the ability to block Radiant Guardian and kill it you know, trade with it after this. Another reason not to block right there. We drew Cythria. That's a welcome sight. Okay, do we actually get to do it next next round? Matron Cythria? Yeah, do we actually get to do this broken combo that we never ever get to do? Keep your eyes on the horizon and your feet on the ground. Alright, new Talia. Ooh, new Talia level up animation. That's pretty cool. Surfing on pool day. That was pretty cool. Gotta love this O2 challenger. Wait, why don't you do that first and then make a copy of it? Wouldn't that kind of make sense? I guess they wouldn't have the room for all of them, I guess. So this three-man champion, you know, is tough. It survived that big fight earlier. It made, you know, the landmark that makes, like, these 8-8s, and it gets free ice shards, and it gets your nexus tough, and it also makes an 11-17 thing that just uh, wins the game whenever it attacks. It does all of that. Feels quite silly how much that card does. Cut. 
course, I don't have the room for another matron Cythria combo. So, playing this thing. Kadrigarin does have really cool art. Like... Is Kadrigarin going for Shivana? Oh no, is that supposed to be Shivana? Yeah, that is Shivana, isn't it? So if they are able to get an additional 8 8, we are dead. But they would have just, you know, had that other countdown thing on this. Also, Stinging we basically have to hope that we can draw another Shivana to put a Shivana back in our deck in case of Watcher. That's what we gotta hope. So I'm not worried about the damage killing me. No. But doesn't I don't think they'll be able to get just another 8-8 this round, you know, since they're I don't think they will. So I think we're good. Bedricide protect me. So I know the Mage Seeker is going to die, but I want to see what kind of spell we get. My my plan, of course, was to play the Mage Seeker and the Fleet Feather Tracker first, but then, of course, the Fleet, you know, I don't need to have my Fleet Feather Tracker just die for no reason. We'll have the Mage Seeker die. Keep your eyes on the horizon and your feet on the ground. Aurora Borealis. I mean, I guess I don't really just kill them, though. All they have to do is... All they have to do is have some blockers. Do they have another blocker? That won't do it. Fearsome. The old spectral matron fearsome. No, we don't. Oh, they took all that time. I thought we had them, but we don't. From the well, this is getting stressful again. Yeah, okay, there we go, Shivana. So even if they do have Clock Hand, Shivana will help us out. Um, but I guess I have to keep the mana up to be able to cast that. Okay, I mean, seven mana, they can't, this card can't be anything. I guess I, yeah, we can just play these. Alright, cool. 
But actually, I shouldn't play those because then I want to keep my three spell mana. I don't know. Alright, whatever. It worked. Dex. Oh man, I hope we beat Draven Ezreal. After Draven Ezreal just destroyed us. Last attack. I am not happy with Draven Ezreal right now. Um, I kind of want to mulligan the Shivana. Shivana is actually kind of easy for them to kill. Radiant Guardian is not as easy. I like, you know, just something cheap, and I like the, um, you know, this, maybe get a couple copies of something else to play. Oh, I would have loved to have multiple Egghead Researchers. Ask me about dragon titles, we have an answer. Why is it always Draven on three? Always Draven on three. You must know me, little one. Mage Seeker Conservator can be pretty awesome. Confine and contain. We get some really cool, powerful spells. Yeah, that's the best card to get out. Being a cool, powerful spells, that could be one. Well, the bad news is they keep on having exactly what they need, but the good news is, I guess, you know, no guillotine for this even more explosive stuff later. Um. I'm just passing also. So I could I could single combat and try to kill the Draven with that. Because it's, it's just so vulnerable, right, to die to kind of anything. I think that would rather just save the spell mana. Um, you know, like, my plan here is this round, you know, Stalking Broodmother with, you know, maybe single combat or, or Sharp Sight or whatever. And then, you know, next round, Matron Cythria. Again with, you know, so I, I kind of just felt like I'd rather just have the spell mana. I guess I could be playing True Shot Barrage instead of this thing. A good quality 3 2 1 there. Which sure looks like that's maybe what I should have done. But we want to get bodies in before Matron and Cythria, right? Like we want, we want that to happen. They can't have more Scorch Earths or Guillotines, right? They can't. Give me my 12-12. Never mind. I'll save my Scout Challenger, but... Never mind. Time. 
Okay, we can we can stabilize from here. We can stabilize. As long as they don't have like the 88 that makes all the deathmates. Should be playing true shot. I was kind of thinking like Withering Whale, single, single. But maybe that was in my mind because I was thinking they were going to be open attacking. But once they play that 2 3, we could true shot instead. A true shot would let them put more units in play before attacking. And so then you'll be able to just go back and go wide again. Or here, if they want to play anything, they got to replace something. True shot. So only two cards. All right, so they're out of cards that are not spinning axe. Down to four. Make that three. I do have Withering Whale. So kind of need to keep the mana up for Withering Whale. Gosh, I want to play the Reckoning, but then Reckoning doesn't keep the mana up for Withering Whale. So I die to get excited. I gave them gave them the opportunity to do something else. They're not going to just top deck and get excited, right? I could just play okay, so I could play it safe and just keep the withering whale up, and then just you know challenge, challenge, and you know just like kill everything else. I just kill kill everything. Or I can reckoning kill all these three, and then be able to hit them twelve twelve, force them to play like maybe like that's one blocker, and then I single combat that one blocker. Mm. But if they if that was get excited, I lose. If it's like anything else, I win. I kinda wanna just go for the kill. So I guess if if this card's like a scorched earth or guillotine. Yay! Then that's a lot of worse for me, not going for the kill. Okay. It wasn't get excited. Man, it is Draven Ezreal Day today. It is Draven Ezreal Day today. Our seventh time to face it. In 15 games. Good top end. Gotta find some early game, though. The last five times we've played against this deck, I don't, I just don't remember the first two times, but I know the last five times that of us playing against Draven Ezreal today, they've had the attack token round one, so they have it round three with Draven. Every single game. And not playing Tracker until turn two, so I have the Glimpse Beyond. Be able to go along with it. Here comes Draven. Time for the they had it every single game. We'll expect them to use some spinning axes to turn this uh, Blissic Bot. Can you improve 
into someone that like, kills the protege. Or almost kills the protege. Yeah, Static Shock was what I was going to say is why I wasn't playing the Mage Seeker Conservator to begin with. Um, but after playing the Draven, then I played it. I would love to play against this deck if they don't have Draven. So I wonder what that's like. Especially attack token round 3 Draven. They do have 10 cards in hand, so not likely they're going to pass to me. Cool. Yes! That's what you get for having 10 cards in hand, Draven player. So I didn't want to risk it also with the Glimpse Beyond. <laughs> so one Ezreal burned, one Captain Farron burned. Oh yeah, now you're getting rid of cards. This should really not allow them to get a 5 drop. That should just cancel out Tribe even probably later. Really wanted Spectral Matron. Kind of want to play the Ephemeral Spectral Matron. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, because they have 10 cards. They have to do something. I don't want to play the Ephemeral one. But that would, see if that keeps them from attacking. Because you're a 6-6. Six, six. So you plus Research or Fight doesn't kill... Farron. Oh gosh, they still have Guile. Ugh, Guile's annoying. Um. Yes, the question is thinking about picking up the, the Lee Victor deck we played yesterday for whenever the Watcher gets changed. Do you think Hirana would still be worth it? It'd be really hard to say for whenever that metagame, you know, whatever it would look like, you know, it's just, it's that's really hard to say. 
Um, but I have to say that I have been. I was very happy with um, with Hirana yesterday whenever we played the deck. So yeah, I would I'd keep it in for now. But you know that could be a card to watch to potentially take out later. Um, but I think it looked pretty good. Man, and they just have so many cards. Tribune and Pride later. Not exactly fair. But I mean, it's it's all it's all like Draven, right? Okay, so do I... I'm considering Dawn and Dusking the Screeching Dragon or just having the Screeching Dragon challenge and then playing Radiant Guardian. I guess that's my play. Challenge here, Radiant Guardian. Yeah, if they have a big Tribeam to kill Radiant Guardian on the spot, they win the game. That's just how it is. We've already fought through both Captain Farons. Two Dravens, one Ezreal. I mean, maybe the safer play is you know, keeping stuff alive and challenging like the 4-3, the 3-2. I don't know. So we gotta hope we draw a fight spell, which I don't have very many of. Oh no, never mind. The game's just over. That would have been a fight spell. That's annoying. Just, it's all we've been facing today. We're three and four on the day against that deck. Played against it seven times. We've won three, lost four, but we're also one and four in our last. You know, we won the first two times. Or we were one and four in the last five. They just always have that attack token round one and Draven on round three attacking, and it just makes such a big difference in their deck if they have Draven immediately attacking or if they if they don't. And unfortunately, that. Because I think that like this this deck honestly has a whole lot of good stuff in that matchup. Like I think that like Spectral Matron Cythria goes bigger even like even bigger than what they're doing, and so they they have to go underneath us, and like we have a lot of card advantage like with the Egghead Researchers and Mage Seeker Conservator and Stalking Shadows Glimpse Beyond. Right, like we have a lot of card advantage, but they have to go underneath us to win, and that's the best way for them to do it is Draven attacking round three. So it's it's. So it's a matchup I think that I like, but that's like their one way to win, and they had their way to win, so I was frustrated. No Cythria Matron combo for us that game. It was in my opening hand. I had to mulligan him. So that's too bad. I think I think this deck is is very well positioned against Draven Ezreal, but nothing's 100-0. You're not winning any matchup 100% of the time, uh, especially a deck that's as good as that and has such efficient cards as that. Um, but playing against that deck more and more and more, I am now pretty convinced that Tribeam and Probulator should should be like it has to deal the damage, and in order to um, uh, to make that the new unit. Like maybe it's like however much damage it deals, then you make a unit that's the size of of that. All right, so you can so you can have a little play to it. So you can you know sacrifice your own things and have your own things die. And they don't just get, you know, a Ruin Runner for free. Because four mana kill, you know, like, that's that's just such a huge play, right? They had, like, four mana kill your Screeching Dragon, get a Ruin Runner. Yeah, like, I... Right? Like, I play Screeching Dragon, they kill and get Ruin Runner. Like, that's... That is such a huge swing. When Ruin Runner is easily worth five mana. And so they get to spend one less mana on it. And also spell mana, which is less value than regular mana. And then also kill my 5-drop. That's such a huge swing, it's hard to come back from. So we only went 2 and 3 with Spooky Shivana. So, un unfortunately. But I liked this deck, though. I think this this was... Okay, so about our deck, um, I definitely liked this much. And I thought that this looked much, much better than the other versions that people usually play with with Mask Mother and, and Dark Water Scourge and, and some of that kind of nonsense. I think that this uh, had a lot more consistency to it. Uh, we had a, a lot better um, early game, mid game, that kind of stuff. And while you still have that super powerful top end. So I, I would be pretty confident in running this back and, and doing fairly well with it. 
um, but I, I definitely liked how it, it was looking. Mage Seeker Conservator looked great. It was getting us, you know, True Shot Barrage and Reckoning and, and things like that. Researcher, of course, always amazing. Good blocker, and then gets us a good four, five, six, seven mana dragon to just kind of help fill in the curve. Um, Withering Whale didn't look that good, but we never played against a really Azir or Thresh Nasus. Uh, those, or, you know, like the Noxus Azir deck, you know, we never played against any, you know, Draven Jinx, um, any kind of deck like that. So we, uh, we didn't play against good Withering Whale matchups, considering we we're just playing against Draven Ezreal all day. But, uh, you know, Draven Ezreal and some Thralls. Um, so we played against lots of 8-8s. But there we go. That's going to be it here for Spooky Shivana. Good looking deck. Um, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Um, I would appreciate that. But as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.